I do sometimes uh, think I give you the impression that wherever I go, I'm all alone on the world and there's nobody there. Nothing is uh, further from the truth, but uh, there's people everywhere all the time. But um, I found this little spot again today for my ramblings and I thought I'll take you with me. Uh, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the quiet with me, although there are people around, trust me, trust me. Anyway, okay, so I'm not sure if uh, you are also brought up on this, uh, this uh, fallacy that it takes 21 days for somebody to adapt a new habit, because that's what I was thinking. And believe it or not, I'm into my 22nd day of... Uh, well, what would we call it now? Van lifing, overlanding, nomad living? I haven't got a clue. But uh, 22 days and I'm still not sure what it's all about. Now, you say 21, 22 days, um, but you've been doing this since, uh, since the beginning of the year. Yes, I have. And just in case you're new to this channel, I have been doing this since uh, basically Christmas last year when I resigned from my job. But anyway, so um, I resigned from my job around Christmas, then started uh, my uh, seeking winter sun travel towards Spain in January. But uh, I, I basically didn't budget quite right, so by April, by Easter, I kind of was broke and I needed money, so I had to start working again. And that's why I'm back into my van live life for 22 days. And like I said, I mean, it takes 22 days uh, to start a new habit or to get used to a new habit. I don't think that's true, so I googled it. And apparently there's been some research done and um, it's not true at all. It takes more than 22 or 21 days. It takes up to 254 days. So there you go. Uh, I still have a long way to go. And in the meantime, in the meantime, I do my thing. Whatever my thing is, I have no idea. I am just cruising around, um, you know, Europe in my little van, stopping, enjoying, getting annoyed by people. Um, last night or like a couple of nights ago I was standing at this really really lovely spot and um, to be quite honest I was all alone honestly I, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can put like a, a picture up there so I was all alone underneath a tree I have to admit there was a tree but there were plenty of trees anyway and then one one afternoon this guy with another van like a, an RV pulled up but on top of me, I mean, the space was massive, but he had to stand next to me, like 20 centimeters or something like that. I mean, why, why? I, I'm kind of happy being on my own. And I always want to sort of like send out that signal. It's like, you know, I'm a solo traveler. I like my own company. Please let me be alone. But he wasn't. So I got up. I don't like confrontation. Not sure about you guys, but um, I avoid confrontation at all costs, to be quite honest. So uh, the only thing I did was like get internally really agitated and annoyed and then decided to just, you know, up and leave. <laughs> Which, of course, makes him win and me lose. But there you go. Anyway, if I hadn't left, I wouldn't have found this spot, whatever this spot is. But it, it's nice, look. So, 21 days, 22 days, and counting, and trying to lead whatever my best life is. But this is it. Now, I'm still comparing myself to other people, because of course, we're all online, we're all on YouTube, we're all on Instagram. And the other day, this lady on Instagram, really nice lady who I follow, 
sort of posted what it cost for her to be to live in a van for like a month and she claimed 400 euros <laughs> that's what i spend in a week so either she's been living really frugally or i've been doing something wrong for the last months <laughs> 400 month 400 euro for a whole month i mean diesel food insurance i don't believe it i don't buy it but she claimed it so there you go now i must admit last couple of days i've been really feeling a bit not down but my stomach's been a bit upset and to be quite honest i I feel that in my wallet. I'm not spending too much money on food. And the great thing about traveling in different countries, two different countries, is of course the food. I mean, it's the main aspect of, 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 of culture, isn't it? It's their food and you want to try stuff because it's different from back home and you want to try all these new things because all these new things taste great. So now with a little bit of an upset stomach, <laughs> I've been eating oatmeal and crackers and that's it and it's been very good for the budget I have to admit that so and maybe that's what she means like she maybe she really eats nothing I think she's a vegan but don't say anything but I think she probably lives on crackers hmm so comparing comparing to people now i've discovered a way of finding out whether somebody's really like living the van life and it's like this here you have seen this t-shirt like a hundred of times i think in my videos and that just proves that basically i travel light i don't have a whole wardrobe and because i don't have a whole wardrobe you see stuff reappearing all the time so if you watch people's videos or you know instagram posts or whatever and they all have um like different wardrobes and you know fashion and and, and trinkets and jewelry and all that you bet your bottom baller they've got like a house somewhere or a hotel room or whatever and they just uh, make themselves pretty because when you're living in a small van, trust me, you do not have a lot of stuff. Now, my walk has been really, really nice, but I kind of got myself stuck here. Um, so let me see if I can walk this way. Oh, yes. So there you go. Okay. So back to that. Another thing I noticed the other day is uh, my, my mocha pot. Remember, you know, I love making my coffee. That's another thing that I noticed with some people uh, pretending to be living the van life is their mocha, mocha pot or their bialetti or whatever you call it. It's pristine. It doesn't have a single scratch on it. It doesn't have a burn mark on it. And I'm thinking, that's not right. You just bought that from a shop. Or you just clean that at home in your dishwasher. So there you go. Comparing oneself to other people, maybe it's not a good thing to do. Maybe you should just do your thing and not compare yourself. And uh, that's where I've been going wrong. I've been comparing myself all the time to other people. <sighs> I'm going to interject here because... Um, I mentioned a couple of times that I'm an introvert and people probably have questions about what that exactly means. That means that I have a lot of uh, things going through my head and with these, um, with these videos that's exactly the same thing. I, I'm thinking a lot of the times about YouTube. Getting to sleep nowadays is getting more and more difficult because voices in my head are, are making scripts are writing scripts um, about what I should say what I could say how I should say it and what I should say and what tone and what phrases and all that so then it's hard for me to get uh, to fall asleep basically and then when you wake up and you've got the fam camera in your hand then all of a sudden you know your script that you scripted in your head last night is all gone and then you just ramble on a bit really so that is a bit weird so I, I need to find a structure of how to organize it better I, I don't think i want to get up at two o'clock in the morning and start writing things down but i think that's what people would suggest which uh, not not really me but yes i need to find a better way of uh, you know 
of preparing these videos because now it really does feel like I'm unscripted and I'm just rambling and just blurring out things without real thought behind them and the weird thing is yesterday evening before I fell asleep I had this really nice structure that I was gonna you know use as uh, the basis of this video and like I said then I fell asleep and this morning now that I'm taping it I'm you know the structure is out of the window and there is no structure but that's the problem with being an introvert or with having like a lot of voices in your head is like you're always doing something you're always writing emails as well the number of emails I've written in my head you know emails of complaints it's unbelievable but when it actually comes then to actually sending or writing that email no I don't feel like I've got the energy anymore but in my head they were there so just to give you a little insight into this brain here um, it might sound a bit weird but uh, for me that's everyday life it's like there's a lot of thoughts going on in my head and um, I'm already planning while I'm saying this my head is already planning the next day where to sleep what to do what to eat where to go what to say what YouTube video what cut what you know it's like it's busy I just wanted to interject that before I send you back on my way uh, you know continuing the video with the uh, the ramblings of today Also, Google seems to um, know where I'm going. So on Instagram, all of a sudden I got other people sort of saying like, oh, I'm in Groningen or I'm in Bremen and look what I've just discovered. And then I think like, oh my God, their vlog is so much better than mine. Why would people even you know, bother to look at mine? But there you go. So it is a bit of a struggle doing this whole thing here every week every day and sometimes i really don't feel like filming anything or uh, doing stuff for youtube because it's uh, it's beginning to look a bit like a job and i know that people already have mentioned it in the comment section it's like uh you know don't make it become a job because then the authenticity goes and it just looks like it's all been produced and uh, you know you're not being your true self anymore so I, I will I will take your advice and only post when I really feel like posting something or I'd like to work on my editing skills I'd like to make um, videos that are visually pleasing and you know and engaging and have got maybe a message to say as well so in that respect I would like to take a bit of a breather I mean not like weeks or en on end or whatever but just like not force myself to put out weekly or bi-weekly videos because in the end um, in the end it doesn't do the what you call it the quality of the videos any justice does it and I would like you to stay around because um, that's the fun bit is basically reading the comments and uh, seeing what you've got to say and what you what you found about the video and and your comments really do help me a lot because sometimes they teach me something or they make me go and look something up and check something and that's the great thing about the YouTube videos let's say something positive really let's be honest in my last video on YouTube I was kind of criticizing YouTube for asking me stupid questions and questionnaires and then the video after that totally bombed so I'm being punished by YouTube I'm telling you I am being punished so I'll say something positive now yay good for YouTube it really br br brings joy to my life so there you go if you believe that I'll tell you another story anyway so oh, while I sashay down this beautiful white sand beach um, I bid you farewell um, this is maybe a shorter video on my rambling Thursdays but I just wanted to touch base with you and let you know that yes I am still traveling around Europe and um, discovering new places new countries 
new foods, even though the stomach is not working at the moment, but that'll be sorted out soon as well. And uh, weird thing is, I mean, I don't want to boast, but I do speak a couple of languages. The weird thing is, wherever I go, whenever you're on a terrace or you, you, you know, there's like, like this camper van just parked up next to me, like, like really 10 centimeters away. Um, I understand what they're saying. I, not only are they annoying me by their presence, I also understand what they're saying because I understand their language. And sometimes you just don't want to be part of that conversation. You just want to like, you know, blank them out. So I need headset, I need a headphone. <laughs> I need noise cancellation headphones, that's for sure. <sighs> anyway, I am now in a country. Anyway, although the vlog will be on YouTube a bit later on in the month, um, I am now in a country where I don't speak the language and all the signs are foreign to me which I think is really bizarre because I'm used to like understanding everything. So even in a supermarket, I go like, what the F is that? I know it looks like yogurt. It's in a con container that looks like yogurt, but the word isn't yogurt, stuff like that. So that is kind of exciting. Maybe I should learn more languages. Anyway, now I'm really rambling. Um, I'm just gonna enjoy the view here and leave you uh, with some positive thoughts from a sunny country. It's not always been sunny, by the way, just in case that you're wondering like, oh my God, you know, Jack's in the sun all the fucking time. The, the days that it's raining and maybe fresh or colder, that's the days I forget to film because, you know, why would you? But it is reality after all. So <laughs> I'll try next time if there's like a shower or a, uh, a thunderstorm, I'll, I'll see if I can catch it on film as well. Anyway, okay, and now I'm really bidding you farewell. I still have to learn where to watch because I still don't know where the, the camera is. But anyway, I bid you farewell and I will see you on Sunday for a vlog in Germany. And, um, and then we'll see how we work on the quality of the video rather than the quantity of the video. Catch up with you later. Bye for now.